Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how we issue a purchase order through Materio. So in this case, I want to send the PO over to a trade vendor using Materio. So our system is going to fire off that email to them. They're going to be able to submit information back to you and it is going to make your ordering process seamless. So let's dive in. I'm going to head over to the orders tab, which is now under selections right over here on the left. And from this space, I will see auto drafted orders. Now, most of the time, if you have a approved products or approved quotes for products, that is going to auto draft right here. There may be a rare case in which you want to initiate a new purchase order and you can do that from the new button. But in this walkthrough, I'm going to go through an automated process. So in this case, I'm going to select uh, an order that I want to send. And in this case, my vendor is already on the order, so it's going to show up here at the top. Some cases you might need to adjust or change this vendor, and so you can always do that. It is very flexible. Now, in this case, because I'm going to send it over to a vendor, I'm gonna just click Preview Email. Here you'll see that I have the vendor information. If you wanted to CC anyone at the company or uh, on the vendor side, you could. You can adjust your subject line, your message to the vendor, etc. You will also notice that their order PDF is attached here. We have generated that. You can choose to display those prices and you're gonna get a nice preview of what the vendor is going to see over here on the right. So I'm going to hit send and that is now going to be fired off to the vendor. Now, if you come down and look at this order that has been sent, you'll notice that on this purchase order, there is a link to the vendor portal. So we're gonna take a look at what this vendor is going to see. If your vendor gets that email and they click on the link, they will be able to upload a PDF right here. Upload one write you a message, let you know what the grand total is, when the payment on this is due, and then when the expected ship date is. And they're gonna be able to submit this back over to you in Materio. Now on the off chance that they respond to the email instead of coming here, you will get that email or whoever has initiated the PO will get that email and you can have a conversation back and forth with them. In worst case, you can upload this uh, acknowledgement or invoice in the system as well. But for now, I'm gonna submit this over just like I'm a vendor, and then I'm going to head back to my Materio account. All right, so now that my vendor has submitted that information back over to me, you will see that this actually is labeled needs review. And that's because they have submitted information and I need to go in and make sure that it is correct. Now they may have sent you other details here that do, uh, do or don't match what you have. And so just make sure those are up to date, make sure shipping and tax are up to date. All of this is editable here. And then you would just want to record payment. Now you could also move forward with just confirming this and saving it. And what that will do is allow you to confirm it. That is going to create that purchase order in QuickBooks Online if you're using our integration. And then later you can come back and track payments. But it may be that you have tracked maybe a partial payment on this. Uh, at the beginning and so you want to track that and I'm going to track that and hit save and now I have a partially paid uh, order here if I click in you'll see that I still have a balance due so that is how I would fire off a purchase order to a vendor they would get an email they would be able to submit the information back to me or have an email exchange and then I can confirm and track payments if you have any other questions about how this works or sending a PO through the system you can always reach out to us at hello at material.co and we would be happy to help